Hi everyone! I'm gonna check out this new spa place in Katy. Spa World is a Korean bathhouse, meaning there are co-ed facilities, but there are also facilities where it's gender specific. And in order to enjoy the saunas or the pools that are in there, you have to be in your birthday suit. The good thing about this place is that it's family friendly. There are places where kids can hang out and there are things to do for people who do not want to do the spa. So they don't allow shoes in the facility, so the first thing you have to do after you register is put your shoes away in a locker. You can have your socks, which I do recommend. Small World actually opened up in fall of 2020, and right now they have a Groupon for $25 on Monday through Thursday, so I totally took advantage of that. Which by the way, with Valentine's around the corner, this is a great Valentine's gift. The locker room is where you have to be in your birthday suit in order to enjoy the pools that are in there. But they do give you clothes to wear for the co-ed facilities. They only provide small towels in the locker room and the big towels are $2 for rent. So next time I would definitely bring a full-size towel. I really enjoyed all the Korean decor. Also that they had better food options than other places I've been to. They have a restaurant upstairs and they have smoothie, coffee, snack bar downstairs. Feel free to pause the video anytime to read the details about the spa. I was disappointed they did not have heated floors or the mugwort tea bath, but the orchard room is pretty bomb. These rooms are made of orchard clay which in high temperature is supposed to emit far infrared light waves that help with muscle relaxation, detoxification, and the other room has little balls that helps with pressure points and further muscle relaxation. I really like this room because usually before I go to a spa I work out and this really helped relax everything. There are nine rooms in the whole facility that focus on improving immunity, detoxification, improving circulation, anti-inflammatory effects, and so much more. When I go to a spa, I usually go to the hot room first for about 15 minutes if I can handle that, and then go to the arctic room for about five minutes, and then go to the hot room again. This place did have a water dispenser, so I just brought a little water bottle to fill during my stay there, and I do recommend drink lots of water. Now the fire dome is super hot. I only lasted in there for 10 seconds because the floor burned my feet. They suggested to put towels down to walk on the floor there, or I would just wear socks. I enjoyed the jade room because it wasn't that hot, and also the floor had Himalayan and salt, and I was able to ground myself with my bare feet and do good stretches and on top of that charge my phone because there was a charging port. The Himalayan salt one was also nice because it was warmer and I was able to do deeper stretches and it just made me feel a lot better. I noticed they hung little tea bags around the rooms and I thought that was cute but also it made the room smell good. All right, time to check up upstairs. Those mannequins actually scared me at first, but I like the decor. The restaurant, the theater, forest room, infrared light room is all upstairs, including the bar as well. They even have a screen golf range in private rooms. The open patio deck was a nice addition. This is one of my favorite rooms just because it smelled so good and it was so relaxing in there. This is labeled as a sleeping room on the map. And this is the theater room. All right, guys, that was awesome. This is Spa World. I had a great time. See, my skin is all rejuvenated. <laughs> all right, hope you enjoyed it. 
see y'all next time. Bye.